connecting your KB9000 bump bar and LS8000 KDS controller. Starting with the KDS controller, first plug the round power cord into the back of the KDS controller on the left. Next, plug the power cord into the brick and plug the other end into a surge protector. Then, take the bump bar and plug the RJ45 cable into the port on the bottom of the device. Take the other end of this cord, which is a USB, and plug it into the USB port on the back of the KDS controller. Take an Ethernet cord and plug it into a Wi-Fi router. Your register will need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Plug the other end of this Ethernet cord into the back of the KDS controller. Then, take a display monitor and on the back or side of the unit, plug in a VGA cable and tighten the screws on either side. Plug the other end of the VGA cable into the corresponding port on the back of the KDS controller, once again tightening the screws on either side. To set up the KDS controller, take a USB mouse and plug the USB into the front of the KDS controller unit. On the monitor, use the mouse to select the KDS application you would like to use. Once the application is open, you will see an IP address on the top of the screen. Write down the IP address. On the register, Tap the three dot menu button on the top right of the screen and tap settings. Then select the hardware tab on the left and select printer settings. On the top right of the screen, tap the plus icon, select receipt printer and type in the IP address you wrote down previously. Select Kitchen and tap OK. Your KDS controller and bump bar are now connected to the register.